Steve Steiger is with the Palo Alto Historical Association. Steve, we're standing in front of the HP garage, but cast your mind back to the 1930s and Frederick Terman. What do we need to know? Frederick Terman was a professor at Stanford who was alarmed that many of his graduates in the electrical engineering departments were leaving Stanford and heading east for their jobs and careers, and he wanted to encourage more of them, or some of them at least, to stay in this area, establish companies, and bring prosperity to this area. And his first success stories were Hewlett and Packard, who established a company in the late 30s and uh, went on, obviously, to bigger and better things. But we're here in front of the houses where they lived on Addison and the garage where the company more or less had its beginning. And I understand the first product was something for a Disney movie, is that right? Yeah, Fantasia. There was a product that they created that the Fanta uh, Disney company bought eight, eight of them, and they were assembled here in this garage. Mm -hmm. And tell me, um, who owns the house now in the garage? Well, a few years ago, HP went back and bought the property from private ownership, and in part probably because they are using the garage as a symbol in many of their advertising programs today. So there's a historic landmark here, but what's the big picture? What, what does it mean to have a historic registered landmark? Well, it's, it's a program with standards at the federal level and r organized at the state level to recognize structures that have significant historic importance for the community or the state or nationwide. And most of the structures in Palo Alto that have that recognition are recognized for their architecture, i.e. they're designed by famous architects or their important examples of certain styles of architecture. This is an example of a historic landmark that's recognized for its economic rather than architectural standards. After all, it is a fairly ordinary one-car garage, <laughs> but it's where HP had its beginnings, and HP is really the beginnings of the whole Silicon Valley. And uh, all of that history of Silicon Valley, how could a person find out more? Well, we certainly have materials at the archives at, over at the main library at 1213 Newell Road that people could look at, and we would welcome them on Tuesday evenings or Thursday afternoons. Super. Thanks so much, Steve. You're welcome.